For many burgeoning outdoor shutterbugs, that first photogenic sunset is enough to start a photographic addiction. For Brian Conley, those first few picture-perfect Iowa landscapes were enough to do the trick. Now his camera takes him across Iowa and beyond. I think first and foremost, my favorite things to take pictures of are sunsets. I like sunrises, but I'm never up for them. If a sunset's going on and I'm indoors, I can't handle it. But mainly it's just about wanting to be in nature, wanting to backpack and hike and spend as much time on mountaintops as I can. Brian Conley is a creative person. Sure, he's an avid photographer, but before that he was a touring musician and outdoor adventurer. And when he's not being creative, he's pushing others to do so. I think that anything creative is a worthwhile endeavor. I think it, it activates a part of your brain that uh, is healthy and, and good for a healthy balance in life. Whether it's art, music, or photography, or anything, try it. Have some fun. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing. That approach to life is what brought Brian to photography, a natural love of the outdoors and a desire to hold on to that feeling. I guess the way I got into it is that I really enjoy being outdoors, first of all. Hiking and backpacking, just anywhere around Iowa started off, also Colorado and areas like that. Uh, always had that sense of adventure um, and always wanted to travel ever since I was young. And then playing in bands as I grew up, started to travel with, with music and whatnot. But it seemed like photography was the next step to capturing those moments, I guess. Those travels started taking him to the top of mountains and on long trips through national parks. Eventually, when Brian returned to Iowa, he decided the only way to replicate his wanderlust was to seek out the hidden treasures the state has to offer. So you find places like this, with cliffs by the water, or places like the ledges, or uh, Northeast Iowa Yellow River State Park and whatnot. Sometimes, to find unique locations, he's even resorted to the most simple of devices. One of the things you have to do is just open up a map every once in a while and see where things are like lakes and rivers. So I eventually made my way down to Red Rocks, driving around, found this tower. Why not climb up in it? Uh, and then eventually made my way down these trails and found these cliffs along here as well. Little discoveries like the Cordova Observation Tower and Waterfront area give Brian a little extra energy to find a different angle on some of his favorite subjects like landscapes and sunsets. Places like that, I just love that view. I feel like there's so much of Iowa that's relatively flat that finding that vantage point is a tough thing. And one of the things that you get from the top of the tower is you see the tops of those trees, which are typically the most colorful spots. But having a 360 degree view isn't so bad either, right? And Brian finds the natural rocky topography of Lake Red Rock's waterfront provides an equally interesting perspective. I've had a lot of good sunsets over there. A lot of silhouettes of people or just clouds in the sky or birds flying by as well. It's a lot you can see from a high vantage point. Brian's need to get out and explore has led to his most noticeable success, a large following on Instagram. Currently, Brian has nearly 40,000 subscribers on the popular photo sharing application, who Brian believes started to gather due to their shared affinity for the setting sun. I, I think my most popular things that I do on that are, are sunset shots with birds in the sky or maybe silhouetted subjects with sunsets. To answer how I got there, it was a lot of co consistent posting certain times a day with a series of right hashtags that you know go to the right hubs and everything. But a lot of it was due to the fact that I saw other people traveling around and sharing their work and them being able to do more traveling because of it. And I thought that that benefited the lifestyle I was trying to set up, where I was trying to travel a lot and see this country. And now through photography, I'm able to do that and have some help with sponsors uh, with not only gear, but some gas money along the way as well. His latest Instagram project is turning the camera from the horizon to the habitat. Okay, so I do have a second page, and it's called The Wildlife of Brian, kind of a play off the Monty Python movie, uh, but it's all animal pictures. There's little teeny bugs all the way up to grizzly bear shots that I've taken, uh, and this all came out of being outdoors, waiting for sunsets, and seeing wildlife. It was tough at first because those moments passed so quickly. You, you see a deer and it runs off. You know, it, it really sharpened my, my eye and made me faster at using my camera and it's been a lot of fun to collect all those shots.
Things are pretty wild when you look closely at them. As much as Brian loves Iowa, to him there's no equal to venturing beyond the borders of his home state and across the country. Try to travel as much as I can. I was just in Wyoming and Montana and Colorado for the last three months or so. Just drove around, camped on mountaintops and on back roads, national forests and whatnot. Long trips are the only way Brian wants to travel. And when he shares his stories with others, it can sometimes be a little hard to wrap their minds around several months living out of a van and a tent. When I tell people I'm going on such a large trip sometime, yeah, it, it can be a little bit of a weird moment for them because they're not used to that. But I just explain that, you know, there's a lot to see and there's not as much time as you'd like to see it. So you gotta get out and do it. I feel like if you want to do stuff like that, you just got to do it, you know? Put all your reservations aside and just go for it. If you aren't able to hit the road for months at a time, don't worry. When approached, Brian still provides whatever creative nudge he can offer. I would say the best advice to capture a great sunset is be out often. Just wait for it, wait for those colors to really pop, and then take a bunch of pictures and see which one looks the best afterwards. Start from there. But you could have six cameras on you at any moment between your camera, video camera, an iPhone, whatever, take a couple pictures. Mess around with editing. If you have fun with it, you have fun with it. Ask some friends how they do it. My favorite thing to hear, though, is that it inspires other people to get outside as well. You know, I think that's the main thing, is that if it can inspire someone else to get outside and enjoy this, then it's all worth it. <laughs>